to the Senior Summit. We're leaving town, baby. Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and I'm here with Tim Milan, and we have the Senior Summit coming up May 18th. It happens out at the 4-H Park outside of Centerville, and it runs from 9 to 2. And they are one of the sponsors, so I wanted to talk with you again, Tim. We've done this a couple years. Thanks yes. for coming with us. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. Um, tell the people what happens out at the Senior Summit. What do you have happening at your booth? Okay, well, first off, this year is going to be a hoot because it's a, a Western oh, theme. Oh, yeah. So Got it's going to be, gonna be a hoedown out at the 4-H Park. And uh, let's just say we're going to try to lasso you in to get a, <laughs> a hearing that. screening done. Um, you know, we'll get all the cow pokes coming in and take care of them. But mostly we're in the business of communication. And communication is just so important. Everyone looks at us and we're Chesapeake Hearing Centers and they think, oh, they sell hearing aids. And, but we do that, but we do that so that we can help people communicate. Right. So we'll be out there this year making sure that people can communicate with their loved ones and friends and, and have a, a richer, fuller life through good communication. And, and that's mostly what we'll be there for. We'll be screening hearing. We're always there screening hearing. Uh, we've been a sponsor, I believe, since the inception of the event, which surprised yeah. me because 16. this is 16 yeah. years. Um, I don't, that, that blows me away that it's been 16 years. But uh, we screen the hearing there and we get opportunity to see a lot of people who may not realize that they have a hearing loss. Right. Um, and it and, starts and the, and the, the people process. have to understand if, if you haven't been there before, it's not the full screen it no. you know there's no way you can do that out there with all the people meandering around and that type of thing so i yeah. don't want anybody to get the misconception right. like when i came in you know i went into the little booth and had the full hearing you know checked and that's what you have to do if if absolutely when they screen you out there that if there's a problem then they need to contact you guys. Correct, correct. It, it's a pass-fail screening. Right. So it's truly a pass-fail. Um, if you fail, we will check you in our office for no charge. We'll, we'll set up an appointment for you to come in and get your hearing checked in a better environment. It is a noisy environment, but, but it's always good to get checked out. Right. Screenings are screenings and they serve a very valuable purpose. They give you the idea of do I need to pursue this issue further right. or am I just not listening? Um, a lot of times husbands get in a lot of trouble at screenings, um, but it is an important first step. Uh, the, the average turnaround for someone when they first figure out that they have or they have this onset symptoms of a hearing loss till doing something about it is seven years. Right. Seven years is a very long time to go without one of your most valuable senses. Uh, if it was your eyesight going wrong, uh, you would pretty much so pursue that pretty quickly. If you all of a sudden couldn't walk, uh, you, you would want to get a cane or go see a doctor about that. But hearing people, it's a little more insidious. You know, it, it just they, sets in and you they don't compensate. Really, they turn yes. the volume up. And they don't realize that. what yeah. they're missing. So it's important to get the screening done because right. it's an important first step. Uh, if we do see someone who uh, possibly has a medical issue, we would refer them immediately to a physician to be able to be handled that way. And we do that in our office as well. As anytime anyone comes in for any kind of test or screening, if it's a medical problem, we will send them to a, a medical provider. So tell people what Chesapeake Hearing, what all do you offer um, as far as hearing devices and things like that? Well, Chesapeake Hearing Centers has the honor of being the oldest private practice audiology group in the state of Maryland. Okay. We were founded back in 1975 by an owner who the founder truly just wanted to help people hear better. Right. That was his mission. Uh, you can go onto our website, helpyourhearing.com, and his whole story is published there. Okay. But you'll see that the overall theme was he was out to help people. And so we have, through the 43 years, 
worked at what can we do to help people. One way we can help them is with devices, hearing aids. We've worked with uh, numerous manufacturers throughout the years and we mostly stick with manufacturers that we know that are going to give the patient the best results and the best service. A lot of people don't realize that the service from the manufacturer is probably one of the more important features that a manufacturer can offer. Hearing aids break, mm -hmm. you wear them out, they're an electronic device that gets exposed to moisture and whatever you get exposed to. Whereas with glasses, if you get a little rain on your glasses, you can clean them off. With hearing aids, though they're water resistant, they don't necessarily hold up real well to jumping in the pool. Yeah. Um, or downpours of rain, they pretty much so will make out okay, but there are situations, especially in this area, being around the water as much as we are that the hearing aids need to have a good service background. Okay. So we work with all the major manufacturers, but the ones that we recommend the most will be the ones that we know that are gonna give the service for the patient. We also work with a technology level that we know the patients will see a, a true uh, positive result. We don't wanna just go and, well, you can try this, or you can try that, or you can try this and try that. Patients come to us because they want our guidance. Right. And we've worked a long time. You want time. the reassurance. I right. mean, I know I had the problem and, and didn't realize. I said, I know something's wrong. There's some, so I called, and it was just that wax had built up in it, and I didn't realize it. And then they took care of it. You know, right. They showed me how to pop the filter or whatever. I haven't had to do it since because... Right. I've learned how to maintain. And that it's, it is something that you have to maintain. You have Absolutely. to take care of. And the number two thing you look for in, when you're pursuing something with hearing is a provider that you can trust. Yeah. Be I, I cannot tell you how many times people come to us with embarrassing stories because they've been in a situation that they heard something wrong. And you've got to feel comfortable enough to be able to let the provider know what that situation was because that gives us a clue as to where you're struggling. And then that coupled with a good diagnostic hearing evaluation, uh, you know, years of experience and matching it up with the proper technology, we can help people hear better. Right. Um, we, don't, we never make you hear as good as you did back in the day. Oh, yeah but we work with what you have left and, and we actually have really good results and have for many, many years. I'll tell you the other thing that I like is the app because when I go in different situations, you know, whether it's a restaurant, you can filter that background noise and it does help you to hold a conversation where before it was just like, I'd miss half of the conversation going on at the table. And once again, that's where the provider is, is valuable, is teaching you how to use that and how to have the hearing aids properly set up to work with the app. Um, and what she's referring to is on smartphones these days, we can actually have your smartphone linked directly to your hearing aid. Right. So when the phone rings, you push answer and then you talk completely through your, your hearing aid. You hear it completely or you have the ability to adjust it yourself for special situations. There's also uh, the ability of geotagging, where when you walk in with certain technologies, you can walk into an area and they're pre-programmed to work for that area. Oh, so okay. if you go to a church or you go to a club or a favorite restaurant, right. once you have it set up your way, it'll geotag that spot. And when you walk right back in there, it'll automatically it change set. yeah, change the, the program and be, work yeah. so you don't have to fiddle with it. Right. So they take a lot of the, the, the problems away. Um, but but it's people a, have to feel comfortable using the app and their phones right, and right. getting all those settings. Right. You know, that's where my husband comes in. It's like, all right, honey, I need help here, you know? Right. And, and nowadays, there's also, I'm sure everyone's aware, the discussion about buying hearing aids over the counter, which is a, is a big uh, push coming forward. It's a new law. People are going to be able to do it. But you've got to be careful what you buy over the counter without somebody's help to actually yeah. use it. Um, hearing aids are a great device. 
but they're not necessarily the cure-all for you if you buy the wrong one. I like telling patients that I can go to a hardware store and buy a two by four, but it doesn't make me a carpenter. Yeah. And, and that, that's the dilemma is knowing what to do. And be careful because even though the uh, price tag may look cheaper, because I can buy that really cheap two but by that four. But that wire that connects could <laughs> right. break and then where are you? Right, and you do need to have a provider that will stand behind the product and help you out. Because once again, this is a service industry. This is communication we're mm -hmm. talking about. We're not talking about devices uh, that you can just buy anywhere. We're talking about service and a provider that will dedicate themselves to you. Well, and it, it makes me feel comfortable because I know you. You know, if, if I'm going to come to you as a provider and see you in the community, you know you have a good product. And so you're not going to, you know, turn to a different aisle when you see me in a store because no. you can't face me. You know the product's good and you stand behind right. it. Right. And, and we do. We live in the community. We, we're proud residents of Queen Anne's County. We've lived here over 30 years. Uh, and the whole reason we opened the office on Kent Island many years ago was because we had patients that were tired of driving across the Bay right. Bridge to come see us. Uh, we opened the Easton office, um, I'm trying to remember how many years, I think it was 12 years ago in Easton, similar thing. Our patients were coming to see us either in Cambridge, or I mean Salisbury, or coming up to Annapolis. It saves people from traveling around, and we're in the community. We're right. active in the community. My wife and I are we're active at our local church. We're, we're here. We're part of the Eastern Shore, and, and are very proud of and in our different offices, all our providers live nearby right. and, and are in that community. Our staff lives nearby. You, you'll recognize them when you, you see them out and about. Right. And that's, that's a valuable service. Yeah, it, it really is. is. All right. So website to get the different locations that people could go to. Why don't you give them that again? That is helpyourhearing.com. It's help your hearing, just like I'm helping you out. It's helpyourhearing.com. And on there, you'll see uh, the history of our practice. You can book an appointment there. You don't actually book it online, but you actually end up sending an email directly to me. Right. And I'll reach out to you. I will personally call you to make sure that we're helping you out the best way. Uh, and I, I tell you, I, I get a kick out of responding quickly. So challenge me. Get on there and yeah. Get on my website yeah, well, and see how... when I had the problem, I, they were in the Easton office. And they said, well, come down there. And I'm like, okay, I got my grandson. Bring him along, you know. <laughs> well, and, we're, we're a friendly... Yeah. You know, we're a friendly group. We're, we have several families. The founder, his two daughters work in the practice. His wife worked in the practice for a long time. My wife and I are involved. We have a pair of sisters that, that work together. So we're very family-oriented in right. our practice. Um, we're an easygoing group. So you're going to have anything at the table? At the oh, well, yeah. I'm going to have one of my valuable golf umbrellas, mm -hmm. nice purple and white umbrella. Um, works very well on sunny days and, and maybe if it rains. And we always... <laughs> we don't want rain that no, day, though. No, no, but it's a great sun umbrella because yeah. it's nice and big. Yeah. And I'll have our purple bags. We always bring our purple bags. These are good, heavy-duty, reusable purple bags. We started giving these out a long time ago because we got tired of seeing the plastic bags blowing all over the eastern right. shore. And uh, I think the reusable bags oh, are yeah. a great way to go. So come by, meet us, right. enter a drawing. Uh, just come meet us, see what we're doing. I also have a special surprise for anyone that comes up that's wearing a hearing aid, and I'll, you have to come see me to find out that gift. But uh, come see us at the booth and get your hearing checked. Well, we're glad that you're going to be out there again, and we hope to see some of you guys out there at Summit, May 18th, 9 to 2, out at the 4-H Fair. Absolutely. Come, come to the hoedown. Yeah. Well, thanks again. Thank you. All right. Friday, May 18th, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. At, at the Queen Anne's County 4-H Park. Park. Woo!